it's another heckin thursday it is uh 11 11 so make a wish lo it is granted because we're here it's stump the artist this is your friendly internet librarian roxanne of, of moon township public library bringing you art stuff and across the internet airwaves we have over somewhere in within the neighborhood our dear friend my dear friend and yours definitely paul the fellow artist paul. hi hi <laughs> my wish came true we have a stump the artist tonight oh snap that's it's that's pretty convenient i know right i mean kind of makes you wonder if we should have wished for something more complicated <laughs> yeah right i could have wished for for all kinds of stuff to be help benefit me or humanity uh, you know maybe it was a bandwidth issue you know? yeah i had to keep it simple maybe yeah like that could be the issue uh well in addition to it being 11 11 make a wish day uh it's also international games week Paul, you ought not know this, so I'm explaining it to you, and also to the possibly more than one person in the audience. <laughs> uh, International uh, Games Week is something that is uh, run by the American Library Association to celebrate games and gaming in, in libraries, because libraries aren't just books. It, it's, it has a lot of books, but we also uh, have games, too, and we'll often play games. Uh, as evidenced by my various online game streams, of which this could be considered one. It's kind of an improv game. We are also uh, adding... We just added uh, video games for adults and teens to Moon Library's collection and are in the process of adding board and card games as well. So That's awesome. Games. Yes, yes. I love games. I, I know. As if I couldn't love my library more. <laughs> Well, well, Paul, to um, continue on that theme, as well as the fact that uh, we, we do often play games outside of this context, I think that uh, the evil overlords have heard that things like, like Critical Role make stupid amounts of money, mm -hmm. especially on Twitch, which is where we currently are right now. Mm -hmm. And so... They might have also heard whispers that you and I have played D and D together. This is true. Yes. This is a hundred percent true. This is a hundred percent. This is two hundred percent true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so we are going to be uh, trying to create our own hit multimedia empire with randomly generated uh, D and D characters. It's gonna be awesome. It's it's gonna be. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm, so yes, uh, we'll switch. We'll s actually, you know what? We'll switch to uh, switch to Chrome. Boop. There we go. So I found this uh, fancy website, uh, tetra-cube.com/dnd/dnd-char dash gen.html it was one of the first results if not the first result for this and it has a dnd 5e random ca character generator paul would you explain for the nerds out there what 5e means 5e my friends is means it's, it's the fifth edition of dnd dnd has been around a long time and it's gone through various editions uh most of which i have not played mm -hmm. but i have played plenty of 5e and it rules so <laughs> yeah um here it says select which books to use and you probably own most of these right i own quite a few of these actually probably only around half ah only half i know i know <laughs> i'm a terrible gamer i'm a fake game girl you are you are not a fake game girl. You you are whatever fake game gender you want to be. <laughs> Wait a second. That's not the problem here. <laughs> That's not the problem. Here. That's not the problem here. So, um I have turned on all of them. <laughs> uh 
just so we have the widest range possible of mm -hmm. D&D characters which can be generated. Now, you can see here we have all the different books, and then a little bit further down it will have their kind of descriptions. Um, when, I will scroll down pr quickly. We're not going to use this one. You can see it gets really, really in-depth. So if we wanted to, yes. we could go even further, but we're just going to start with what we can see right here at the top. And uh, we'll we'll start with we we'll start with our character, and hopefully we'll get some some rock and party here. <sighs> All right, and let's generate that character. Roll a d twenty. Okay. Fananya. Nanya. Fananya. Okay, a Janassi. Okay. Water Janassi. Oh, does does it did it specify water Janassi? Oh, it did. Uh, I looked, it does. I looked down a little further. Yes, yeah. you're right. Okay, water water Janassi. Okay, okay. So, um, Janassi is like a like a genie race, correct? Yes, they are. They have uh, elemental blood in them. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Yeah, and um. I believe in one of our D&D campaigns, we encountered a fire Janassi who was very boisterous and not very smart. <laughs> Indeed, yeah, he was full on uh, Ifridi. Oh, wow, okay. And similarly, this one is not... Uh, Fananya is not smart. <laughs> but uh, I would say constant, mix constant jokes or puns, I would just, I wouldn't think that puns would be very bad. But they're, but they're suspicious, and also captivated by a romantic interest, and their forbidden love or susceptibility to romance. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on here. There are a few other things. Um, green skin, trickling stream undertones for the voice. Gul dang. Wow, I don't even know how we would capture that. Well, I'm sure we can't capture the voice very well, but... <laughs> um, other traits, floating hair. Oh, otherworldly patron. Um, so, uh, warlock class is one of the spellcasting classes in D&D. &D. Mm -hmm. And actually, I'm going to scroll this whole thing down so you can see it better. Um, it's... Uh, the, their whole thing is that whereas a wizard has their ability through study. A sorcerer has it from kind of innate ability. Warlocks make a pact. Um, it's some otherworldly being. Yeah, so this one's with, with the Archfey. So some, I believe the Fey are kind of, are like weird tricksters. Yeah, there's like a lad drink. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh snap. Okay, a few other details. Lawful evil. <sighs> Lawful evil. Wowzers. Interesting. Wowzers. Wowzers. Okay, okay. We have. We already have a lot to work with for, for Fananya. A ton to work with. Yes. I, I think the first thing that I'm paying attention to is the fact that her, her name is Fananya. Fananya. Which sounds to me both like the word fun and also nya, which is the thing that cat girls say. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. <laughs> um so with with that and the fact that like she's not smart, she's somehow good with children, but also like obsessed with love. To the degree that she's lawful evil. Yeah. I it, that I'm not sure I I'm I can go with, but we'll try to we'll try to uh, tease. Yeah, that that'll out be here. difficult to capture. That's gonna be difficult to capture, but I'm thinking sort of like um a yandere or yandere. I'm not even sure how you say it. Um, like immature cat girl war warlock. <laughs> Okay, yeah, with like floaty hair. And maybe fake cat ears. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. 
Now, okay, okay. So I'm just going to just, just throw in here the Nyan pose. <laughs> Oh, all right. Here's a question: Should I be assisting you with this, or should I generate something on my screen? So I think that we already have a lot to work with here. I think we yes. can we can work on this one together because we gotta okay. determine clothes. We gotta determine what the um, uh, that's right. The other character, the um, archfey patron, looks like. And don't don't warlocks usually have like a familiar? Or is that an optional thing? Sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. Let me switch to the proper Aggie. Here we go. OMG, I'm late. Well, that's okay. OP20XX, thank you for thank you for showing up. Uh, we only just got started on the drawing part. For yes, all you've missed is a uh, D and D. Fananya. 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 Don't get any Fananya. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And. A fake, a fake cat tail. I think we already got a lot to work with. So, Paul, as as someone who has been a DM much more than I have, do warlocks automatically get a familiar, or is uh, that? Uh, so I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure there is a find familiar spell that they often use. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'd say rangers are much more known for their familiars. Okay, okay. And that's right, that's right, the Genasi has floaty hair here. here. And uh, Genasi basically, since they're genies, they more or less look Human, except for the color of their skin. Pretty much, yeah. And if there's, like, you know, features that you can, I don't know, associate with their particular mm -hmm. uh, element. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe, maybe her hair is uh, seaweed-esque. Okay, or... I, think, I think that's actually a good interpretation for the floaty hair, is that it looks kind of like mm -hmm. seaweed. Maybe that's why she's obsessed with cats. It's because like, they they hate the water, and so she's like, "But but I love, what if cat love water? What if cat love water? To kind of make up for the fact that uh, you know there there usually aren't cats uh underwater at all." Maybe that's what makes her lawful evil. She's put a few cats in bathtubs just because she wants them to learn to love it. Oh. But they don't yeah. want any part of it. Yeah, that I could certainly see that. And so, like, her weird cat girl mannerisms, in addition to the fact that she has <laughs> ambiguous in whether it's intentional or not, but drowned cats... Yes. Um, now, like, I'd certainly, you know, it's why she gets along with kids. It's because they're just like, oh, that's just quirky. Um, but really, it's it's terrifying. <laughs> I'm gonna redo some of this Nyan pose. And she's wearing the cat ears, right? They're not actual. Cat I think ears. it's like a headband. <laughs> okay. Oop. Whoa. Is that me or you? Uh, oh, no, it's definitely me. My bad. <laughs> Undo. Undo! We'll, we'll, get, we'll get through it somehow, Paul. There we go. I wonder if there's a way to move this toolbar to the other side of the screen. I it's think... It's not built for left-handed people. Um, I think that there is... But I am uncertain. You might. Uh, let me this see. is not the time. <laughs> this, this is this is not the time. Um, nope, not drawing settings. So, something to figure out. <laughs> yep, something to figure out. Oh my. Yep. 
keep it the demon cat summons me. <laughs> um, well, I mean, certainly she... <laughs> Uh, Fananya, <laughs> Fananya is is certainly quite evil, quite quite demonic. I am just not getting this Nyan uh, pose right. I apologize, but I think that's just <laughs> that's just part of it. Um, it's those, those cur it's those those hands, right? The hands of the biggest yeah, thing. yeah. It's like this which see I can't I, I can't do it today yeah <laughs> it's that stuff <laughs> <laughs> all right let's let's see I'll I'll, I'll uh I'll, I'll switch to a blue sketch layer bump up that opacity a little bit So she's a water genasi. Mm hmm What would she be wearing? Well, let's start with a collar. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> do genasi have uh, round ears like, like humans, or do they have pointy ears like elves? That's a good point. It might, uh, you know, there might not be an official consensus right. on that. Yeah, all right. So we can we can stick with the um with the uh with the round ears because it probably makes for slightly funnier contrast to the cat ears that she has put yeah. on <laughs> as a headband. gonna go with let's see a, a belt and then the, f the fake cat tail which she probably enchanted to move around with like prestidigitation oh, sure. or something she's a, a warlock definitely oh yeah spell pride or td mm -hmm. yes. Now, Fay. No, no, so Arch Fay. Arch Fay. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a way to represent that because I know that they'll sometimes take on aspects of their um their patron. So the thing is that there examples they're... of Arch Fay. Yeah. Do you? Can you can you lay some knowledge on me? <laughs> There's so like witches. Uh, mm. Here we go. Nef Nefion, the Lord of Bats. Um. Um. So what if it was some kind of uh cat? Fae? Oh. Okay. So maybe that's it. Is that it's kind of like um like a. Oh jeez. Okay, so I can't remember the specific mythology of of there are a couple of mythological cats. I believe one is just has like a giant mouth and is just like huge. I think it might be associated with Baba Yaga. This one I don't know as well, but I know that there's also another one which I keep in mind because of Makiri Witty Suet, which is that um, 
that if they have like a white patch on their chest when they're all black it has some kind of like significance of their supernaturality oh boy see now now i i gotta figure it out now i gotta try to remember what this half remembered thing was <laughs> It's gonna bother you all night. Oh, it totally is. It totally is. Cat. I don't know that Sphinx are fey, but it would be neat if they, if they got their powers from the Cat Sphinx. Myth British, I wanna say? Oh! It's perfect. Um, the. So it's spelled like Cat Sith. With a hyphen between it. <laughs> um, of course. Um, but it is... I'm... Oh boy, I really can't really read the pronunciation of it. It's like, Kassif! Um, or something. But so this it is a fairy creature from Celtic mythology, perfect for Archfey. It's said to resemble a large black cat with a white spot on its chest, which I remembered correctly. Thank you, Brain. Legend has it that the spectral cat haunts the Scottish Highlands. Um, and let's see, let's see. And it is described as being as large as a dog and chooses to display itself with its back arched and its bristles erect. It is believed it could steal a person's soul by passing over a corpse before burial. And watches called the Late Wake were performed day and night to keep the, the you know, Sith Cat Lord <laughs> um, away from the, the corpse before, so its soul wouldn't get stolen. Methods of distraction, such as games of leaping and wrestling, catnip riddles, and music would be employed to keep the cat Sith away. So I guess that kind of explains the good with children stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I think I was also thinking of... No, not AOC. But, um, and... They say that, would, that but yes, the, I did remember something correctly, which was... The, the cat Sith, which steals souls, so we can say that her her archfiend, archfey patron, is the, the cat Sith. So, so maybe just instead of like a, a normal tag, it's supposed to be like a big patch. But it's just like some weird oversized thing. Mm-hmm. It arcane fit is... See, we're 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 already hitting a concept here. Cause that's that's the that's the thing about the arch phase, that they're tricksy and weird, and so she's just stealing souls, man. Funsies. For funsies. Because she's a freaking Genasi warlock who's lawfully evil. Okay, if it, the headband looks weird because uh, <laughs> it's not meant to be a. It's a, yeah, it's, it's meant not to, real cat. Ears. It's, it's meant to look fake. <laughs> Let me get some of that floaty seaweedy hair. Yeah, yeah, no, she would say. Yeah. yeah.
So I'm, I'm thinking this would be probably not part of the protagonist party. As, you know, lawful evil characters are extremely difficult to rein in. <laughs> this is true. In the DM, we prefer not to... Like, you, you really gotta know what you're doing as both a DM yeah. and a player to be able to successfully play lawful evil on a party that's just not all evil. So she probably does things like, Yeah, do you want to play, Meow? And it's like really annoying. <laughs> it's just one of those cat girls. Yes. <laughs> Ugh. No. But you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna really... emphasize the annoying cat girlness by doing this tiny little detail. I forgot about the amulet thing in your neck. Let me know when you do that, and I will remove my it's okay, best animal. thing going on here. Alright, I am putting in the weird amulet thing. But we can just we can just have it go under like that, because remember it's just supposed to be like a That's white true. a white spot on the chest, representative of Kassith. I don't know. Kassith. 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 I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of bustle back here, because why not? Also, just, just, you know, also help. And the tail doesn't need to look good either, because this is just costume. <laughs> just a fake tail. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think you can claw up those fingernails a little bit more. Yeah, it was a shot to me. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Let's just go. Let's see. Put a little bag here for like for catnip or whatever. So yeah, she's obsessed with falling in love. And and jangly bells and having fun. But also, you know, steal steel souls and whatnot. She seems like a jewelry kind of girl. Angles and such. Mm-hmm. Throw in some... Those, um... Ah, uh, those, like, those, like, coin... Uh, skirt things. The ones that jingle when you move. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's That's not a bag. There's, there's nothing of her of, of for the cat about stealth because she's the cat that will play with you. Even though she's she's water, she's <laughs> she's a water genasi. Yeah. I believe it's said on the um, on the description that she like found her archine by going through a mirror. So mm -hmm. it doesn't really have to. It doesn't really matter that sh that she's a uh, water genasi. <laughs> that we can hint with the little bit of a little bit of gills, and whatnot. Yeah, I think they can breathe underwater. That makes sense. 
Yeah, not it's not as necessary as it is with like a Triton, which is the Merfolk. Yes. my sketch layer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's certainly one where I, I would make the uh, the the joke of let's just be bad. Let's, let's just be, be bad. Let's just be bad. I'm so naughty. <laughs> and then you're like, God, let's you're annoying. Bad. But then she actually then will just murder you. <laughs> and you're like, oh god. <laughs> she wasn't joking. No. Ring. Yep. Just, just throwing some more jewelry on there. Like I said, she seems like she likes that kind of stuff. <laughs> I I don't know what the context for slamming boozy seltzers is, but okay. <laughs> and also, I can see. Oh, that's it. what that's what she's doing. Oh, she's she's slamming the boozy seltzers. She's right. slamming them seltzers. There we go. Oh, see, I see. I gotta, I gotta check what her name is real quick. Fananya. Fananya. Yeah, I'm bad. And she is a archfey warlock. Anyway, I will. Uh, I will quickly uh, switch screens. So we can copy some of this stuff. Uh, let's see, we go Water Genasi, Arch, Archfey. Lawful Evil, do 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 Not, not smart, go with kids. Does it give, do we get a level with this? That's a good question. Uh, How good is she at her job? It doesn't look like it. Okay, yeah, so so we'll just we'll just put L E she might be an NPC, which might be why it doesn't come with um stats. Besides this stuff. Uh oh. But I will I will open up over here if there's stat block generator. Nope, that's for that is for monsters, okay. Alright, so why I opened it in a different tab. Lawful evil, warlock, archfey with oh. archfey patron. I gotta open up the Wikipedia again. <laughs> Put Genasi there. Oh, you know what? I should. <sighs> I don't know what happened. I don't know what's happening. There. <laughs> Lawful evil. I know what happened. Lawful evil. Water Genasi Warlock. It's all kind of smushed in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you can. Yeah. 
You can just uh, scribble in some more of that green skin. I think we're good to take a photo of this one and move on to the next uh, member of this party. <laughs> All right. Do you want to do the tail? Or do you feel like the tail, because it is it is also decorative? Oh, I see. It, it matches the headband. Never mind. Yeah. No. So there's there's Fananya. Mm. Fananya. Yeah. Mm. Super annoying cat girl villain. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, uh, that it actually is a pretty good concept. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think it really helped that I half remembered a fairy, um, a fairy legend of an evil cat. <laughs> yes. All right, all right. Now, 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 be gone, you dark creature. Ugh. Yeah. I cast banish evil. Ninth level. Okay, and there we go. Okay, all right. So we got we got to do another one here. All right. Are you ready? I'm so ready. You're so ready. Okay, let's switch. Let's. Okay, actually, you know what? Don't need to switch screens. Actually, in a good spot. Cool. Boop. Oh, okay, okay. Sariv. Well, I don't know why I is in. Uh, yeah, what does that mean? I don't. I don't know. But they are. Uh, he is a male lizard folk, another warlock, but with a gladiator background. This, Interesting. And they have. They're a boring person. <laughs> 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 they're boring, but like very very strong this is a weird combination very strong have. warlock a strong warlock as you see not not tall but kind of heavy set so the stocky stocky yes this is lawful good lawful good but with the fiend patron this yes. is all like your patron tricked you into a pact and treats you as a slave. Mm -hmm. How very boring. How, yes, how very boring. And of course, part of it is yeah. he can, has to keep changing outfits. <laughs> <laughs> um, I get bitter if I'm not the center of attention. Oh, that sucks. If you're a boring person and you're Probably not gonna well, be the I'm guessing that's why they were. That could be reason. One of the reasons why they became a gladiator. Um, a oh, that's true. A scandal prevents me from ever going home again, and their parents disappear to an unknown fate. Oof. Wow! 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 There is a lot going on. And they in a battle. They were knocked out and left for dead. They also fell in love with a human artisan. Wow, there's a lot going on here. Okay. I think I think we can stick with I'm thinking of like old school gladiators were often slaves. Mm -hmm. uh, um like back in back in Roman times. And um that would be why Sariv. It is Sariv a gladiator for a specific fiend? That could be it. It could be that the otherworldly patron, it's like a patron in like the, you know, a Dominus mm -hmm. would be the patron for a gladiator. Um, and since, while wandering around in a forbidden place, I encountered an otherworldly being that offered to enter into a pact with me. So it could possibly be that the, f the fiend offered the pact of, I will help you find your parents who are who are disappeared to an unknown fate. And they're, they're I mean, not stupid, but... Mm -hmm. Certainly not smart. Perfect memory. 
Perfect memory. Yes. Yeah, so they remember has very very good memories of of uh, of parents and family and whatnot. Foolhardy bravery. That could be it. Just kind of jumped on that chance. Jumped on the absolutely. Yes. I will. I will. You, random creature. <laughs> I will join this pact since you said you will help me find my parents. Um, and just basically is stuck being um, a gladiator. But, you know, a warlock gladiator, which is an interesting mix. Okay, so... It's fight. Yeah, uh, you have a better knowledge of what. Oh, you know what? There is such. There's a a warlock. Um. Oh well, that's that would be no. Never mind. No, it's that okay. Go ahead and tell the me. The hexblade. The hexblade. The hexblade. They're generally they use weapons. That I think that would be great because you know we, we did get a lot, but you know it would be fitting that this like. This brawny lizard person. Is has like a um a gladius, you know, and mm -hmm. like doesn't get a whole lot of magic because they're just very strong. And also, you know, a little bit a little bit gullible perhaps. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dub this. And by dub, I mean redo. Nib, 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 nib. Ugh, ugh, ugh. What am I doing? Just, just, just go away. It's a sketch layer. What's happening? <laughs> we got, we gotta keep this one to 15 minutes. Um. Okay, so I, I believe it said that it was brown. I'm just gonna use a triangle as like the base. Uh, shape. Although we can we can go in the other direction this time. And so you know how, like gladiators, they had like one armored um, arm, and then it was basically shirtless, and then like the sword, which would just usually be like a sword like that, a pretty simple one. Yeah. And so, yes, it was uh, rather like Thor in Thor Ragnarok got entered into this gladiatorial lifestyle he did not want anything to do with. So I'm, I'm putting in a, a Roman style gladiatorial skirt. Yeah. And li lizard folk have tails in this, right? I believe they do. I believe they do, yes. I think it's dragon. Dragonborn, I don't think, have tails. Yes. Um, Dinar, Blitzen, notwithstanding. Yes, technically, you have the freedom to do whatever you like. Yes, it's, but... That is your right in D&D. &D. Okay, and so... But this is... They are, they are a warlock that specializes in fighting, which is very weird. <laughs> but I guess that, you yes. know, if it's just, like, if it's just this, like, ch the, this arm piece and not really a whole lot of armor, I guess it would still work and not mess up their AC. Yeah, I think that... Listen, with any, any party, you know, if you have a good DM, they'll mm -hmm. work with you. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll make it work. If you want a specific kind of character, you could do it. This is true. And I feel like this this is a good contrast to um Fananyan. Fananyan. Who's, who's just super annoying. Like boring but friendly. Lizard folk who just he in very you know nice nice guy just you know a little plebeian with his tastes kind of basic but trying to do right by his family which he misses dearly.
going for that kind of, you know, a little bit of iguana spine going on there. Yeah. You wearing a helmet? I can't help. Oh, That's just from the triangle. Let's see. Let's see. Um, no, I think I'm. I was originally going to have him wear a helmet, but I decided that since he's not a fighter, mm -hmm. it would make more sense. Yeah, if he no, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, because he because he relies on the magic of his 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 evil dominus. Spikes, because it's yeah. So the fiend. Yeah, is does the is the if the fiend a specific entity, or is it just a type um, of entity? I think a fiend is a type of entity. It's typically something from one of the hells. Okay. Okay. So that's fitting. Is that yeah? He just he just full heartedly took on uh, the offer of of a, of a demonic <laughs> <laughs> of a demonic creature. The, Anything for that fam. And just you know to figure out what happened to his 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 parents. And for I think it also said that he has a very large family, which makes sense for you know being a lizard, you know. The, the fellow members of his clutch. Mm hmm You know, he probably he feels like he has to take care of them, too. I'm pretty sure it's called a Roman Gladius. I'm not really doing it justice, but, you know, we got, we got ten minutes. We're gonna get close enough in here. What's his name, Sor Sorev? Oh, I gotta. I, that's right. I meant to check that. Whoop. Sorev. Sorry. Like Sorian, but with a V, and that's it. He's also 19, which would explain why he's full hardy. <laughs> yes. Teens. Yeah, just not really, not really thinking stuff through. <laughs> Yeah, kind kind of Dinar Blitz and vibes, but um, less of a jerk. <laughs> yeah, this one has good intentions. Yes. Right. Oh, I see. I was still on pencil mode. Here we go. Give him a snaggle tooth, because I'm a fan of snaggle teeth. A lot of character in snaggle tooth. Mm hmm. Just. Yeah, we'll just have some of the spikes go off the screen. That's fine. No big. You know, I usually have more trouble with um, animal heads. I feel like I did pretty well just kind of whipping out a kind of crocodilian skull. Honestly, yeah. Spot on. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed with myself right now. <laughs> And then on the other side, it would probably just it would have maybe just like a little bit, not a whole lot of, of padding, because usually it really is just like the one side if you look at old uh, yeah. depictions of them. But I will give them a bracer.
His claws are real. <laughs> unlike his claw, yes. Un unlike he's not, he's not a poser. Yeah, unlike Fananyan, who Fananya. who definitely grows, uh, but definitely has like fake nails or has to use like potions to make him grow. Okay, that this looks this looks weird. This also looks weird. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, there, close enough. So if I remember, Gladius does have this, like, this little bit of a bend in it, like, on each side, but it's not really working out, so I'm gonna skip that. And it'll just be, you know, a short sword. Yeah, fantasy inaccuracy doesn't really matter. All made up. Mm hmm. Yes, there we go. That's somewhat Gladius like. All right. And Sarif, right? Yeah. That's, Sarif. That seems right. Sarif is very earnest, but kind, but a bit of a square. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I can turn that off. But, I mean, you know, he got, he got duped into the whole gladiatorial combat for life thing. That wasn't a goal. <laughs> yeah, that was not supposed to happen. I can see his fiendish overlord being, like, Really frustrated with how boring he is. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And that's why, like, he, he it said the thing that he has to keep changing his outfits. He has to change his clothes all the time. Like he, like he, he keeps being like, you know what? Uh, we need to have effective branding for you. If you're gonna, if you're gonna be my gladiator, people need to know who you are, and you need to stand out. And he just, he has no charisma, and so like he may be competent in fighting. But he has no ability to work the crowd. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of sorry chance. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, who's that guy? Liz, L the lizard dude? Yeah, he's alright. It's kind of boring. He's okay. And so the, you know, a lot of outfits. the Dominus Fiend on its throne, just slavering and annoyed. <laughs> so relief. Lawful good. Lizard folk. Warlock. Fiend patron. Slayer. And I believe that his uh, skin color was brown. So I'm just gonna probably plop in. Plop in some sandy brown. Sandy brown. Let's make that a little bit bigger. It's as big as it goes. All right, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I think that that's a that's a pretty solid start for our, uh, you know, D and D like, uh, D and D uh, empire, <laughs> which which the evil overlords begged us to start. We're gonna get it. We're gonna give it to him. Mm-hmm. Here, I'll help you. I'll help you fill that in a little bit more. Let's get some of that tail. Yeah. Sarive up against... 
I think it's Fananyan. In, in some kind of gladiatorial combat fight, you know. Hired to... Fananyan. Just, just showing up to gloat. Be annoying. Taking bets against his life. Because it's fun. Because it's fun. Tee hee 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 hee. You know what? I, I believe in Sarif. Sarif certainly believes him himself. Maybe a little bit to a fault, but <laughs> it's not yeah. in a mean way. I, you know what? This is this is a good generator. I gotta say. Like it. I don't know if I would use it specifically for one of my characters, but yeah, it's fun as hell. I I think it'd be really solid for coming up with NPCs or a real mm -hmm. quick story. Because it certainly provides you with more than enough information. Oh, yeah. And with your, you know, thick, meaty, and juicy knowledge <laughs> of of the D&D &D lore, it's a, it's a bit of easier to kind of expand on some of those things which don't quite make sense. Yes. Yeah, that helps. It, it certainly it helps. Does. <laughs> Sometimes random is... Uh, difficult. Yeah, a little, a little unforgiving. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one was pretty forgiving. We did, but you know what? We got, we got two solid characters in, in our D and D multi, not multi, multimedia franchise world. Right. Yes, our regular verse. Yes, <laughs> our only the one verse. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Well done, us. Well done. Hey, we didn't get stumped this time. That's pretty good. So, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, again, it's 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 International Games Week, so thanks for playing with us, even though except it was just Paul and I playing this time. Thanks for watching us play. <laughs> yeah, you all should have fun. Yes, you should. It's games. Uh, and speaking of... It doesn't of, even have to be this week. It could be, like, games forever it could be games forever but, I, this week. but I will say this week uh, tomorrow at 8 p.m uh, here on Twitch the uh, Jackbox party pack 8 they're playing it Ooh. sign up on um, the Facebooks and uh, I will I'll whoop, show you those links here um, sign up on the Facebooks for it so you can play along for the newly released Jackbox Party Pack 8. Uh, that'll be tomorrow I'm at, so at 8 p.m. Yes, Paul may be coming back. We'll see. <laughs> uh, and then uh, if we have people available uh, this Saturday, uh, hopefully also at 8 p.m. We'll on uh, Tabletopia. Tabletopia.com. You just have to get a free account. Uh, we'll be playing the tabletop game Wingspan. Uh, so... Sign up for both of those uh, at moonlibrary.org or on the Facebook. Just keep an eye out for it. I believe the Tabletopia sign up is on the website, moonlibrary.org, and the uh, Jackbox Party Pack 8 is on the Facebook. So uh, if uh, we hope that you'll can you'll play with us, and if not, have some fun. Play play some other stuff. Have have fun. International Games Week, y'all. Yeah. 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 Games. Oh. <laughs> Roll a natural 20 on fun. I love it. <laughs> That's good, because I kind of hated it. <laughs> it was delightfully corny. Uh, oh, I'm dying. All right. Thank you, everybody, and you have a good night. Thank you.